Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be talking about uh, PPHN which stands for Persistent Pulmonary Hypertension of Newborns. So let's first talk about the etiologies of this condition. Etiologies. Uh, so three main uh, etiologies. So you want to think about the etiopathogenesis as something that makes the lungs suffer, like something that affects neonatal lungs, like fetal lungs, and that would uh, present with persistent pulmonary hypertension of newborn. Uh, the main examples would be, um, let's change the color, meconium aspiration. lung hypoplasia and let me just check surfactant deficiency okay so what really is um persistent pulmonary hypertension of newborn so you have your heart you have your lungs all right and then you have um, your pulmonary artery that comes out um, it's actually supposed to branch into two and uh, supply the lungs but if there is a high pressure in the lungs that does not resolve upon delivery because you know that uh, intrauterine uh, in the intrauterine life the fetus has like really high pulmonary tension but then if that persists after the baby is born what tends to happen is that the blood from your um, pulmonary artery goes via PDA and enters the um, descending aorta so i'm just going to color code them differently so you know what's going on here this is your pulmonary artery this is your uh, patent ductus arteriosus and this is your descending aorta i hope that that's clear um so what ends up happening is uh, like the findings are going to be like preductal o2 uh, is going to be more than postductal because uh, deoxygenated blood instead of uh, going to the lungs it's going and entering the descending aorta uh, and uh, the other findings that we're going to have on physical examination of uh, this patient is going to be cyanosis of course pulmonary hypertension which i've already mentioned uh, there's obviously going to be respiratory distress. There's going to be hemodynamic instability. Um, I think that's about it. Uh, yeah, they're also going to have low APGAR scores. So that's the other one. Low APGAR right uh, so how are we going to treat pulmonary hypertension of the newborn so the treatment uh, options for this are uh, first of all this inhalational nitric oxide uh, this because um, nitric oxide is a vasodilator so it's going to dilate the vessels in your pulmonary vasculature and that is going to relieve the hypertension within the pulmonary vasculature then uh, e, a pge can be administered to keep the ductus arteriosus patent you need to have a patent ductus arteriosus with uh, pphn because where else will the blood from the pulmonary arteries go like it if it can't go into the lungs it has to again find an alternative path and then it finds its way into the descending iota so you want to keep it open so you'll give them pge uh, i think that's alprostadil uh, 
and then there is uh, the factant administration i mean you have to treat the uh, underlying cause if it's surfactant so deficiency we need to treat that if it's meconium aspiration that needs to be treated nrds like whatever is the underlying pathology that that caused the pphn in the first place that needs to be uh, addressed and then there's uh, ventilatory support uh, given in the form of um, endotracheal intubation and mechanical ventilation and uh, like i said these patients also tend to have uh, hemodynamic instability so you need to uh, give support of care in terms of hydration pressors and uh, those kinds of things so it's uh, mostly um, managed in the neonatal ICU this is a pretty serious condition um, and um, a lot of close monitoring needs to be done to um, ensure uh, good outcomes. So I hope that this was helpful. Uh, if you have any questions regarding this topic or if you want to discuss something regarding this topic, just put it in the comment section below and I'll try my best to answer your questions. Uh, I hope you've had a nice week. Um, I will see you again next week with something new, interesting and uh, complex. Let's uh, sit down, uh, work our brains and take it apart and um, try to understand it the best that we can. Uh, thank you so much for listening and I will see you soon. Toodles.